Hi, it's Stella from Mipul University, and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Freedom 5, a Sentinel comics board game from Ark and Wonders in partnership with Credit and Games. Heroes unite! You are heroes, following your adventure on the comic book, revealing new challenges until you defeat the mastermind. The game plays 1 to 5 players with mechanics such as action point allowance, point to point movement, and dice rolling. The game is of medium complexity. In the game, you are heroes from the Freedom 5, working together to protect the city from the villains listed in a comic book scenario. On each turn, a player has 5 actions. Most actions are done in the hero's form, some in private life form. Of course, heroes usually have secret identity. Players must complete all private life actions before swapping to hero mode. Actions include moving, healing damage, fighting henchmen, fighting villains, resolving tokens on the board, or fighting the final mastermind. After taking actions, the hero takes damage for each henchman at their location, then depending on the scenario, resolves one or more scheme cards. This creates more problems on the board, like adding more henchmen, laying mastermind plots, and moving villains. Henchmen overrun if there is ever more than three in one place, and if you ever run out of henchmen or tokens when you need to place them, the mastermind track advances. Uh oh, bringing players closer to defeat. Players will solve the problems by facing tests. They roll dice in the color of the enemy or token and score a success if for each die which equals or exceeds their personal skill in that color. Most importantly, they will play ability cards, powerful actions which reflect each hero's abilities. For example, Tachyon zips around the map quickly, knocking out henchmen as she goes. I love playing as Tachyon. And Wraith makes sneaky attacks on henchmen from the shadows. Players need to work together to find combos between their hero's cards to keep the board safe together. And ultimately, prepare to team up and fight the game's villains and final mastermind. At the same time, heroes can also gain bonuses by rescuing bystanders or resolving the tasks on justice cards, and may even be distracted by dealing with the responsibilities in their private lives. The game really does give you the full experience of being a comic book hero. In the game, there will be three or more comic books or scenarios initially, but because of the variations of cards and events, each scenario is easily replayable. The moving around the board, removing henchmen, revealing scheme cards feels like one of our favorite games, Pandemic. It also has the Spirit Island cards puzzle fun. What would be the best combo actions for all heroes? What's the most threat you need to defeat at that time? And there are almost always things that help with mitigating dice rolls. Especially good for me, arrow bad. So if you like cooperative games, good versus bad, fighting fires, then Freedom 5 has them all. Combined with storyline and comic book art, you will feel like part of the story. So thanks for watching, folks. At the time of filming, Freedom 5 is about to be launched on Kickstarter, so I'll put the link in the description when it is live. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I will see you there too. Until next time!